SEAL Team 6 Commander Congressman Ryan Sinke joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Great to be here. All right. Usually here, I mean, here's the Congressman. I want to ask you about, um, about this special operation. What did it take to train for this, do you think? You know, uh, bravo Zulu to Delta. You know, it takes an enormous amount of effort, careful planning, and, and it's a team. You know, there was hundreds of people behind this operation from the person who filled up the helicopters to the intelligence analysts. Rehearsals. Uh, these are brilliantly led and brilliantly trained people, and, and hats off to them. Because of what it does do is, even though it's not going to change the course of Ramadi, it's not going to change the course over over the ground. But what it does do, it makes the enemy think that n not only we're going to use air operations, um, but we may strike at our at our time and place uh, deeper. Well, I don't. You know, I. I, I'm not so pessimistic on this. This may be sort of our big chance. If, we, if we've seized enough in, in information from, from this, you know, that may be very helpful for us in figuring out you know, what ISIS is doing or who's in charge. But if al-Baghdadi, if al who's the head of it, has been injured, nobody really knows to what extent he's injured uh, a couple months ago, and if the, if the chief finance guy is now dead, you know, that may have a profound impact on the organization, let's say, of quick replacements. Well, I'm not sure profound. I don't think, given the backdrop of what we have, we don't have a policy in Syria. Uh, we have a Sunni uprising once again. We have a disenfranchised Sunni population. You have Ramadi on fire. You have Iranian troops, no doubt senior military leadership, and likely Republican Guard, embedded into eastern Iraq. And you have the Kurds up north, which we're not giving any help. So at this point in time, I think the next president is going to have a nightmare to inherit on, on Wait, our policy. You know, maybe you've convinced me because um, I guess that I'm just so desperate for some good news out of the region because we have, I mean, every single night that I'm here, you know, we, we hear more bad news of what's going on. And we've had but, Fallujah, Mosul, and now Ramadi. And, and we have, you know, the black flag going up over all these buildings all over. We hear tortures and, and videos and executions. And I guess I was sort of grasping on something. Well, at least good, we got the, the leadership. News, the good news is we have special forces that are brilliantly trained and led. And so we do have this capability. I think when, when you discuss air operations alone, uh, what you miss is the intelligence to the ground to discern and identify targets. Uh, you miss the ability to be embedded and show resolve uh, with our allies. When, when the entire Sunni population in Ramadi is rushing the streets in celebration uh, that the centralized government is, is now no longer an entity, you know, that's a reflection on our policy. And, and again, when you have the, the Sunni tribes, which we worked very, very hard in years previous to gain an alliance with, they no longer trust us. And, and that, that's, a, that's a problem. All right. Um, I want to turn to one other uh, issue, and that's that the uh, four who died in Benghazi, you're doing something special for them. We are. And away from the politics is these gentlemen were heroes, uh, no doubt. And it's personal to me. I, I served with, with Ty, and, and I knew Doherty. You know, SEALs is a very small, small group, and of course Smith uh, was an Air Force uh, veteran. Uh, they served their country well. They died in harm's way on foreign shores, and I think we need to recognize uh, their contributions and their heroic deeds. So what are you doing? Well, it's a congressional. Uh, we're going to look at a, uh, a bill that's bipartisan, a uh, congressional gold medal, which I think is appropriate uh, for the four. Uh, but I think it's, it's Congress's way of identifying heroes. And, and recognizing their contributions. Boy, I hope it gets passed. I, I spent some time with Glenn Doherty's mother, and uh, you know, I you know, I think you can't bring back her son, but at least I know it means a big deal, a lot yeah. to her. And but we do want to separate the politics uh, in it. the area in Benghazi for, uh, from from the medal. I think it's an appropriate uh, salute to, again for heroes. Nice to see you, sir. Always a Thank pleasure. You.